All right, guys, hello and welcome again to Elite Fitness and Nutrition. Once again, I'm Coach Ryan. This is our online program for December, day two. Okay, so once you've done your general mobility warm up, we're gonna start out with what we call kettlebell high pulls, and we're gonna do an overhead squat warm up. So we've got a couple different variations you can mess around with. All right, so. Just like the kettlebell swing, okay? The only difference is as I swing through, instead of keeping my arms straight, I'm gonna bend them into a little bit of an upright row. This is still a leg exercise, a lower body exercise, okay? My arms control the kettlebell, but my hips are what get that thing moving and make it light and still be able to kind of float in my hands just like the kettlebell swing. All right, so I've got my position right here and I'm going into my swing and high pull. All right, right there, I'm doing my reps. Okay, then we've got a couple different versions. So version one, band overhead squats, okay? We're just gonna now, this is just depends on really what equipment you have available. So if you have bands, here we go. So elbows locked out straight. I wanna make sure those arms are pulled back and lined up over my shoulders. And I'm gonna go through just a normal squat position. Now, what you want to avoid here is I don't want to lean backwards, right? My arms pull the straps back. My shoulders, okay, engage and keep the tension in the band. My lower body just squats like it normally would. So if I let go of these bands at the bottom, I should be in a good position here and not feel like I'm falling backwards, okay? That's when you know you're off, you're in the wrong position, all right? So we're just gonna knock out band overhead squats. Boom, right there. You can also do this with a suspension trainer. I think these are probably equally difficult. It just matters what you have available. Same thing. Notice how at the bottom, boom, position, okay? So the last version, and this is the most, this is the most difficult version. This is something you may have to work to, is what we call a wall squat, all right? So we're gonna have our toes just a few inches away from the wall, not very much. My hands are up in a 45 locked out, just like if I had the bands or the straps. And I'm gonna go into a wall squat here, all right? The focus here is not to crank through my back. The focus here is to pull my shoulders back enough so I can go through a normal squat motion as I do this. If you feel this more in your back than your shoulders, you're doing something wrong and you gotta revert back to the other. Okay, so we're gonna go through these two, back and forth. Then, once we're done there, we've got our first lift of the day, and this is gonna be hang, snatch, high pull, or snatch, high pull, okay? So, I'm bear with me here. I'm gonna put some weights on this bar just so you can see the second progression. Always put clips on the bar. For the sake of speed and just demonstration here, I'm gonna leave them off. So we're going wide grip, all right? This is snatch grip. So there's a line on the outside of your bar. Make sure you're somewhere outside that. Okay, you're gonna find your comfortable position. So it should be about the same as if I was overhead squatting. I'm here, boom, I bring my hands down and that should be my snatch grip, okay? And I'm gonna show you in the camera here so you can kind of see. Wide grip. All right, we're gonna go hang position. And once again, just like my kettlebell, I'm gonna use my legs, keep the bar close, pull it up to my chin. Notice how it stays right in a straight line as it moves up, okay? Then, as I get better at that exercise and as my mobility gets better, I can possibly switch to a snatch pull. So that one is a hinge from the knee position. Now we're gonna add a little bit more of a knee bend and go from the ground. Okay, right there. Now, at any point when this bar starts to get heavy, you don't wanna have to, you don't wanna feel it tugging down on your body, okay? That can be potentially dangerous. So, 
if we need to. Now these are tense, so bear with me here. This bar is going to bounce a little, but I don't necessarily have to hold on to the bar. I can let it drop down without having to let it yank me down, right? I can do the same thing from the snatch position. And I can kind of control drop it, okay? Make sure you practice that before you actually do it really in your workout. Okay, so once we're done there, we're gonna shift gears and go into our overhead squat. So I'm not trying to get into too much detail with this video because we don't want it to be too long, but I will show you one thing that may help your overhead squat, especially if you just have regular shoes, you don't have lifters. Okay, this may help a little bit. So, we're back to our snatch position. But, this time, the bar's gonna go on my back like a back squat, and my grip's gonna be snatch grip. Boom, boom, bar on my back. Now, watch for as I use my legs, push the bar overhead, it's locked out. All I'm doing here is my band or my TRX squat that we warmed up with. Butt back, abs tight, bar stays lined up right over the shoulders. Okay, you don't want your chest to drop down too far. See that? I want to keep that alignment so that shoulder, that ball of my shoulder is right in the socket. It's pressing right down in the socket, nice and stable, right there where I can support a lot of weight. Okay, and then when you're done, nice and easy, back down, okay? So that's our overhead squat. You're doing all your sets. Then we've got our... Combo, and it's not really a circuit because it's just going to be two exercises back and forth here. So we're moving back this way. You can do these with a suspension trainer. If you don't have a suspension trainer, you can do them with the bar. These are supine rows. So whether I'm just leaning back with the straps or I'm all the way on my back here, all right? Make sure this bar is pulled all the way back. You don't want this thing sliding back on you as you're doing it. Hips up. Full hip extension, pulling the bar right to the bottom of my chest, elbows in, nice and tight, and that's my supine row, okay? So then we're gonna go over and we're gonna do what's called Russian leans. You're gonna need your partner for this. Just like the hamstring curl at the, at the gym, but on steroids, all right? Hips sucked in, I got a nice tight position. Hands out in front, I'm going to fall into it, nice and slow, control, 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 use my hands, give myself a little push, and focus on pulling through with my hamstrings. The less arms I use, the better. Right there, rush and lean, slow, slow, slow as you can, slow as you can, all the way to the bottom, little tiny push, okay? Obviously, at first, you're going to need more arms. As you get stronger, less arms, okay? That is your combo back and forth. And to finish up, we have what's called plate series, okay? So you're going to grab a plate. You can use a rubber one or a metal one. It doesn't matter. Start off light. Feel this out. And then you can move your way up. This is for time. Four different motions, okay? We're going to do front raise. Right up to shoulder level. Number one. We're going to punch... Number two, straight out in front and then back. We're gonna make sure we have our grip just a little bit at the bottom here, and we're gonna press up overhead, okay, as much as we can, all right, for three. And then we're gonna finish up out in press, and we're gonna drive the school bus. Crazy drive, I'm gonna go back and forth, side to side, as I rotate that wheel, okay? You're going through all four of these nonstop. 10 seconds on each one for the first two weeks, and then bumping it up to 12 seconds after that. Okay, and this is your finisher for the day. So don't forget, make sure at the end you stretch, especially shoulders today, because there's a lot of shoulder work. All right, guys, good luck, and stay tuned for day three.